You're listening to the Christian Indie Artists and Songwriters Podcast, the place where faith, music, and life intersect. We exist to help Christian indie artists and songwriters just like you get songs heard. Hey, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of the Christian Indie Artists and Songwriters Podcast. I'm your host, Brian, and on today's episode, I wanted to talk to you about something that I think you are very interested in, and that is how to get your songs, your music, on Spotify playlists. So if you've done any amount of research on this particular topic, you've found that there are a lot of different directions and wisdom and tips on how to do this. There's things like Submit Hub, where you can submit your song to bloggers and playlisters and and all kinds of people, influencers. You can also pay to do song reviews, which also could land your songs on some playlists. You can do things like Facebook advertising, which that's something that we've also done a little bit of research and experimenting with. Or you could pitch directly to Spotify curators, and that's something that we're gonna talk about today. Now, there's a couple ways to pitch directly to Spotify curators. As as you know, through Spotify for Artists, you can submit your upcoming releases directly to editorial Spotify playlist curators, which I highly recommend. That's an amazing thing to do, and we could spend another episode talking about that alone. But today I want to focus particularly on pitching your music to a user-generated Spotify curators. So that's regular people like you and I that have playlists, that have activity, and are creating lists that we think our songs could fit on. So The only thing I know how to do is explain the way that I have done this over the past two years. I've been doing this exact method and have generated over 1 million streams and my songs are featured on over 2,000 playlists and counting. So although that is not that impressive a number to some people get those kind of numbers in a day, um, I am glad, excited, happy, and passionate to pass this information along to you so that you can get your songs heard by the world because that is a major part of our vision statement for this podcast and our company at Brian Oliver Music as well. So let's run through this. So now that you have your song out and you're wondering what playlist would this fit on? So what I recommend is going to Spotify. You can do this on desktop or on mobile. I actually prefer to do it on desktop because I feel it's just easier to bounce between the Spotify desktop app, even though it can be really buggy sometimes. I don't understand that. Spotify, can you please help us with that desktop app? Sidebar over. And then also with Facebook. So what you do is you go to the search bar, you search playlists that you think your song might fit on. So if you have a worship song, you look up worship playlist, modern worship playlist, acoustic worship playlist, contemporary worship playlist, just think about your song, whether that's genre, feel, vibe, whatever it might be, and just type it in to the search bar on Spotify and see what pops up. You'll see playlists, there'll probably be hundreds and hundreds of playlists that pop up. So what you would do from there is you go into that search and you find all the different playlists and you'll see that some playlists have names of their curators underneath. Now, sometimes it's like, curated by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's not gonna help you at all. We're looking for people that actually have their names. And so you click into the names and a lot of times people log into Spotify with their Facebook account. So their Facebook profile photo is actually their Spotify profile photo as well. So then what you would do is you'd go to Facebook is where I usually have the most success and you try to navigate and find that curator. So type in their name in the Facebook search bar and hopefully you can find a match between their picture and their name. So now that you've located the person that you are wanting to send a message to, then the next phase is you send them a message through Messenger. Since you're not friends on Facebook yet, it shows up in their message request folder so they may not even see your message ever. Could be weeks or months. I've had lots of times where someone will write me back like a month later and be like, hey, sorry it took so long, I didn't see your message. So keep that in mind too as you send out these messages that they may not see them soon or at all. So that is a piece of this. So now with that in mind, you send them a message. So I actually have a sample message that if you click the link in the the description of this show, you can get direct free access to it and I have an actual template so that you can go through it and do it exactly the way that I've done it. But just as a quick rundown, you basically say, hi, I am so-and-so and I am a singer songwriter from wherever. Um, I recently came across your and then you say the name of their playlist, came across your blank playlist, and I think it's awesome. You think it's awesome because you do think it's awesome, not because you're saying it. That's one thing that I would say is I found like, when you find a playlist, don't just randomly try to find one that you like that they have 10,000 monthly listeners or whatever and you wanna be on it. Like, really listen to it 
and know that, hey, this is a playlist that I think my song would actually add to. That's really important because if the curator actually takes the time to listen, you want them to be like, yes, I love this song. It fits right in. And then they add your song. So that's just one more thing to consider when you're doing this. So you tell them who you are. You tell them that you found their list. You say, hey, I have this song that I just released, or I have this song, and I think it might be a great fit for your list. Do you have a, a submission process? And then something else I do is I will offer to share their playlist in my, usually Instagram stories, because Spotify and Instagram have that integration where you can share directly from there. So I always offer that and ask them if that's okay, because it's another point of conversation. So then that's it. And then I say, you know, thank you so much for your time. Hope you're having a great day. And then. I didn't do this for a while, but now I do actually include the link to the song as well because I found that sometimes the curators won't write you back, but your song still may end up on their list because they do listen to it. They just don't write you back. So I think it is important to include it in the message, but never just send the song, you know, and it's at the end of the engaging, meaningful message that you sent to them. So once you've sent that message, then you're done. So then you go in, you try to find another list and another list and another list. And doing this over and over again is the way that eventually your songs will continue to build momentum and streams. And as they build momentum and streams, the algorithm will see them and start to work for you as well. So a couple of things I wanted to mention about this, as far as like mindset stuff goes, is I recommend that people reach out to two to four curators a day. That might not seem like anything, but at first you get all excited, you reach out to like 25 curators, you're like, yes, I love this, I feel so productive. Next day you reach out to like seven, and then the following day you reach out to like two or none. And then you reach out to 30 curators, but then it's over like a six month period. So that's why I say do two to four a day, that way it's really easy to keep up with. It takes five to 10 minutes, maybe. So then after a week, you've reached out to 14 to 28 playlists. And then after a month, as you can see, this can grow quickly. The reality is, is you're not gonna get very many messages back. You may not get added to very many playlists either, but you cannot give up because this is the thing that will continuously grow over time. And like I said, I can't give you every cool strategy that there ever was for Spotify streaming, but I know that for me, this is, has definitely worked and compound it over time. And some of my biggest songs that I have streams on, actually thinking about it right now, the three biggest songs I have that are all over 100,000 streams, this is exactly what I did. There was no extra submit hub, there was no extra playlist stuff, it was just reaching out to curators. I wasn't featured on any editorial playlist initially, this is just coming through this process to be, you know, up and one of my songs about to have 200,000 streams and that's come through this. So I'm no different than you. You can do the exact same thing. It's just building this into your routine. And so a couple of bonus tips I would add um, is, you know, when you reach out to these curators, when you find their playlist, follow their playlist, you know, all the follows matter. And I think for one, it helps them, and two, it actually will help you because you'll know that you've already reached out to them in the past because, you know, we're not trying to spam people here, and the act of doing this can seem a bit spamish, but that's the whole point of doing the engaging message is that you actually care to take the time to put in their personal information about their playlist name and all those things, and you've taken the time to actually listen through, and maybe the curators won't actually know that you did those steps, but doing them is just, it's just the right approach because that way you're just not coming across another person that's trying to get someone to listen to your song without caring at all. Especially since, you know, being a Christian indie artist and songwriter, your songs are about God and we want to do things in a godly way. So trying to build relationship is key. You know, getting added to playlists is awesome, but it's not make or break for your music. It's just a one way to get reach. Another thing too, I will add is that I wouldn't be discouraged if people don't have a ton of listeners on their playlist because you know, the algorithm doesn't care. The algorithm is looking for streams and streams in different places. So honestly, if you reach out to somebody who has zero followers on their playlist, like, and they add it, chances are that curator might be the one listening to your song and they might listen to it every day. And wouldn't you rather have seven streams in a week or 15 streams in a week than zero from a big playlist? I know I would. So I never get discouraged by the amount of playlists. I mean, of course, it's cool when you get on a 30,000 like playlist. I mean, that's awesome. But those are much harder to get on. Those curators are getting hundreds of emails a day. So I would I would be just as excited about getting on a playlist with five or, or 10 likes than one with 50,000. So keep that in mind too as you're reaching out. Don't be discouraged by the numbers. You're, you're trying to go for maximum reach and impact through your music. So 
just reach out to every person that you can get a hold of and go from there. And the last thing I'll say about this, and it's like with anything else, this is definitely a marathon, not a sprint. I mean, it is so easy to get discouraged when you don't hear back, when you don't see your stream count growing, your monthly listeners aren't growing, but it's that continual consistency that will bring the streams. And it might not be something that happens overnight. I remember when I first released my EP, it took, man, I mean, just to break a thousand streams in that first first song, I mean, it took months. But the driving force is that you believe in these songs and you believe that God has put them in you to share them. So that should be all the inspiration that we need to continue to put out stuff and continue to reach out to curators because that's the way that you get songs heard. I've heard it said a lot, even by people from Spotify, that playlisting is not a strategy. And, you know, there's some truth to that, but I mean, it is the number one way that songs are heard is through streaming. So if if you want your songs to be heard, then streaming should be a part of your routine. Just in the same way as songwriting is, same way as producing is, the same way as recording is, once your song is out, like this, that's that's really where half the other half of the work begins, and that comes through doing these inquiries and reaching out to Spotify curators. So I hope that this made sense to you. Like I said in the beginning, if you look in the description below, there's a link to a free guide that I call the Spotify Curator Inquiry Guide, and this is the exact steps and basically a lot of things we covered in this episode to help you take your songs and reach out to curators and start getting your songs streaming more than ever. So I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for listening and I hope that you have an awesome rest of your day. We want to help reach as many Christian indie artists and songwriters as possible. And one way we can do that is with your help. So if you could take a minute and leave us a review on iTunes, that would be so appreciated. This is how the iTunes algorithm will push this content out to more and more Christian indie artists and songwriters. So like I said, if you could just take a couple seconds, leave us a review, that would be so awesome. It means so much to us and we would really appreciate it.